Hi guys, today BP Kim is going to read The Giving Tree. I always liked this story and I used to read it to my Lolo. And um, initially I was to think that um, I used to make it about the kid and how selfish he was. Um, but now I see it's more about the tree and how much um, she just loved the little boy. So, here goes the giving tree. Um, it's by Shel Silverstein. And it was written for Nikki. Once there was a tree. And here is the nice tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. There's the little boy, he's coming. And he would gather her leaves. Here's the little boy gathering her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. That's him climbing the trunk up there. And swing from her branches. So there you see him kind of swinging from the branches. And eat apples. And they would play hide and seek. That's him hiding. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And you see, he put a little heart for him in the tree. The boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come. Climb on my trunk, swing on my branches, and eat apples, and play inside my shade, and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I don't have money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money, and you will be happy. So this is him talking to the tree. And she's saying, just take what I have. It's yours. And the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them the way carried them away, and the tree was happy because she could provide and make him happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy. And she said, Come, boy, climb on my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep warm. I want a wife, I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you can cut off my branches and build a house, then you will be happy. So now the boy is a little bit older, and you can see he's talking to the tree about in the house. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away and then built his house. So there he is building his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat 
that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. So now he's older. You see he's talking to the tree. And he said, go ahead. And the boy cut down her trunk. And he made a boat and he sailed away. Now he left her. There's him walking away. There's the trunk. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on the branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. He comes back. There's the stump. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightened herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down, and rest. And the boy did. This is him now, old and sitting on her stump. And the tree was happy. This is the old boy. Sometimes when I think about the story, I think of how kids, um, you know, need a lot from their parents and their parents just love them so much and they will give them anything to make them happy. And they will um, even sacrifice everything for you. And in the end, they're happy just because you're happy. All right. Have a good day. Bye. This is from Titi Kim.